I had no idea I even Pingu was sensing. Remember the excitement I felt when this theme song would pop on. The brief nonsensical jingle signified yet another installment of one of my favorite childhood television shows. If you're a millennial, it's quite likely that you're familiar with this clay animated classic as well. The fun-loving Pingu has been entertaining kids around the world since 1986. Whether he's with his younger sister, his girlfriend, or his homies, you can laugh your way through his misbehavior and shenanigans throughout the entirety of his five-minute episodes. Despite Pingu being a show for youngsters, however, a lesser known fact about our beloved bird is that his antics have had him edited and pulled from networks on more than one occasion. From being too violent, scary, or outright questionable, here are 10 examples of when Pingu was banned or censored. Number one, Hello Pingu, also known as Pingu is introduced. Our first defender is none other than the series premiere itself. In the latter half of this episode, Pingu brings a red ball outside, only to have it snatched up by two of his mischievous companions. In the prolonged teasing that follows, he is both smacked and tripped. Both of these actions were deemed too violent for the show and resulted in this scene being edited from all British and US earrings. It is also absent from the Good Miley! <laughs> Out of wives, not out of words. <laughs> Seven days to die, Alpha 20. Alpha 20? What? Oh, because they're still in Alpha, is that? Is that it? And from many of the VH. We saw this, this original one then, because he got hit in the back of the head with the snowball and DVD releases. Number two, Pingu runs away. This episode begins as many do with Pingu's lack of cooperation at the dinner table. When his defiance reaches his climax, his mother bends him over her knee and chastises him in a manner frowned on by several networks. The sulking penguin then flees his home and later encounters some terrifying ice formations. These frightening depictions, coupled with the corporal punishment administered earlier, resulted in this episode being banned and pulled from both US and British television. Number three, music lessons. This episode lacked controversial material. However, the audio had to be edited due to a copyright infringement. Pygo, the production company, had not obtained the rights for one of the songs used in the episode. They later changed the music and everything was better. Number four, Little Accidents, also known as Pingu's Lavatory Story. <laughs> Little Accidents was banned everywhere except the UK. This is due to its crude depiction of urination throughout, as well as what may or may not be alcoholic references. Ironically enough, this episode received exceptionally high ratings. Number five, Pingu at the Doctors. Pingu hurts his beak while playing with his younger sister and has to go to the doctor, oh, of whom he is very- That's a her? I thought that was, was a little brother. Much terrified. This episode was banned everywhere except the UK for its depiction of blood. Number six, Pingu's admirer. In this episode, Pingu and his future love interest meet for the first time. He is initially disinterested in her, but opens up to her later. At the end of the episode, they can be seen parting ways at a street sign that read Glasnost and Perestroika. Is this Russian originally? Or are they just located in like Siberia or something? There are no penguins on Siberia though, right? It's Swiss? Both of these political terms are rooted in Soviet policy. So this episode was banned for allegedly promoting communism. Number seven. <laughs> what? Pingu's first kiss. Pingu and his girlfriend try to find some alone time away from Pingu's friends so they can kiss. US television did not air this episode as they deemed the beak to beak contact as inappropriate for children. The UK was cool with it though. Number eight, Pingu quarrels with his mother. Pingu grows increasingly uncooperative in the completion of his chores, which once again culminates in Pingu being slapped by his mother. This episode was not aired in most of the US and the scene was edited out of all the VHS releases. Number nine, Pingu and the doll. In this episode, Pingu is shown dancing around this poor fellow, all while chanting and donning Aboriginal gear and garb. 
Needless to say, this episode was pulled from most of North America due to its portrayal of Native Americans. And finally, Pingu's dream. In this episode, Pingu falls asleep while his mom's reading to him and some peculiar events follow. His bed takes him on quite the adventure during which he encounters a creepy walrus with really large pupils. This episode was pulled from both British and US television for its haunting portrayals, but not before it struck terror into the hearts of an entire generation of children, me being one of them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more informative videos like Bunch of wusses. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment on what you want to see next.